Welcome back. Let's talk about the Cocoa Touch layer, which is the top layer from the application side and contains all the user interface elements. So if you are using an iOS, an iPad or any device with a touch interface, then it's called Cocoa Touch. But for example, on a Mac OS, it's called Cocoa. And the most important frameworks are the user interface kit, which contains all the building blocks for the user interface, such as buttons, labels, forms, table views, etc. Then there is also a specific event handling framework, which which manages the touch, motions, like shaking a device, and also remote control events. There's also frameworks for multitasking, which manages an app to be visible in the background. And also for the push notifications, there are specific elements you can use from this Cocoa Touch layer. And as you can see in the picture, if you want to build a game, there's a specific game kit. If you want to do something with a map, then there is a specific map kit. So if we look into the documentation of Apple again, then there is this user interface kit which has a lot of extensions, views, windows, etc. you can use. And what we saw earlier was that there is also a WebKit with a WebKit view. And now as a practical example, I want to use this user interface kit to display a web browser with a specific website. So probably I can just copy this example 101. And to do this, I need Xcode, which is the IDE. If you're developing apps for iOS or for any Apple device, as you can see, you can build a multi-platform app. You can build an app specifically for iOS, WatchOS, VisionOS, etc. And for iOS, you have some more options, but let's just pick the default app option. Then we can go to next. And similar, if you're building an app in other languages, usually your app consists or your code consists of packages and classes with some prefix. Also within iOS, there is a bundle identifier. So for example, com.mobilehackingnet. And then I will call this app WebKit demo. And there are two different types of interfaces and also languages you can choose. But in my case, I want to build it in Swift with a Swift user interface. Include test, that's fine. Then I have to pick a folder. So let's say I want to do something with a web browser. And I copy this example. So this example uses this web view and also the user interface view. And it also automatically updates. So this is just a simple example about using the user interface kit, which is already used within this Swift user interface if your programming is Swift and I'm using this web view component. So in this case, I'm using this web view object and you can, for example, also change the properties. So if I want to make it ugly, for example, I want to say it needs to have a fixed size, then I can just edit it and it will also be reflected in my simulator. But this is just a simple example about how easy it is to use those user interface components. So if I want to change this URL, then it also reflects so this is just a very simple example about a demo app, which only loads one view. And then we are using those different functions to load user interface components. And in this case, specifically this web view. So in this example, we used the user interface kit and also we use some components of the web kit. So usually as an app developer, you're using different layers without even knowing it probably. So this was in short about the iOS architecture. In the next video, we're going to talk about the security features of iOS. Hope to see you in the next video.